Would y'all welcome Dr. Jenkins, everybody? Good morning. You can have a seat, it's okay. All right, so um, as Mrs. Walker mentioned, my name, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Adam Jenkins. For those of you who do, it is still Adam Jenkins. Um, yes, and I'm a boy dad, so I'm full of boy dad jokes. Um, so this year, y'all are talking about Colossians 3, specifically 12 through 17. And so, well, let's, just like your Bible verses, you shouldn't learn them and then just move on. So let's talk about, what did we talk about last week? Anybody? Anybody? I saw a hand. Really loud. I can't hear really well. It was in the army. What did he say? 312. Thank you. Awesome. Anything, anybody know what we talked about? Did you take things off? Did you put things on? Yes. Scream it. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Okay, what else? Good. Yes. Pikachu. Yeah, you're putting on all of these things. Therefore, as God's chosen ones, right, people who believe in Jesus, holy and dearly loved, put on compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, patience. That's a lot of really good things that we should all try to do. But I've learned any time in the Bible you see therefore, you got to ask, what's the therefore, therefore? So if you go back to the beginning of Colossians, and the reason I say this is this is part of your whole year, right? In the first part, of Colossians 3, it says, if you have been raised with Christ, meaning if you believe in Jesus, seek things above, heavenly things, put your mind on things above. So essentially be as much like Jesus as you can. Put your mind on those things. So last week you talked about the way to do that is put on all these really tough things, right? Compassion, kindness, humility. This week, we're going to talk about this. Bearing with one another and forgiving one another if anyone has a grievance against you, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you are to forgive. So what does bearing mean? Anybody? It's like get hairy arms and claws and bad breath like your dad. What is it? Bearing? That's okay. Yes, sweetie. Forgiving? Yeah. Dealing with people? Yeah. What else? Forgiving one another? Bearing? Yeah. Anybody else? One more? Yes, sir. Be nice, yeah. So bearing, to endure, to last, like to deal. Who has a brother or a sister? You have bared with them, okay? Grievance. What does grievance mean? It's a weird word, yeah. Yes, exactly. Someone's hurting your feelings, all right? So today we're talking about forgiveness, all right? So today's theme is forgiveness. Has anyone needed forgiveness before? Woo. Yes. So in my house, a lot of the times we need forgiveness is when we're playing games. We're playing pickle. Hi, Amelia. High five. Yes. Um, we're playing pickleball or we're playing um, any, I don't know, anything around the house. So does anybody else like playing games? What's your favorite game? Oh, this one's easier to answer. What's your favorite game? It's called pickleball. Pickleball. Yes. Yeah. You know what? Anybody? Miss Pickens? I like watching my son play football. Football? Yes, sir. Um, I like playing games. Playing games like board games or video games? Um, Race cards. cards. Nice. Well, in my house, this is a great forgiveness game. We play Sorry. Anybody else play Sorry? Right? A lot of opportunity for forgiveness. We also play Battleship. All right, now I tried to guess Mrs. Pickens' favorite game. Apparently I was wrong. Stick hoop. Uh, <laughs> but in my house, one game reigns supreme, and that is Fortnite. Yes, okay, yeah, sorry. So it's just a weekend thing. No judgment, everybody, all right? So we are going to play a game um, I need a couple of volunteers that I'm going to volunteer you to come down. Jake, <laughs> if you can come to the stage. Come on. Come on up, all the way up on stage. Y'all cheer them on as they come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. This Barrett. Come on down. All the way up on stage. Get. Hurry, hustle, hustle, hustle. Right. Get up there. We don't want to get up there. All right. So, yep. Yeah. Get on up. 
You are the next contestant on the chapel is right. All right. So what's the game? Each y'all grab a box. Uh, Miss Barrett, this is your box. Jake, this is yours. And back up in the middle there so you have some space. Maybe over there. All right. So this side is going to cheer for Miss Barrett. This side. No, you don't. Just stay over there, Isaiah. You can cheer for her. You're going to cheer for Jake. So the whole goal is to smash the box as quick as you can. You have 10 seconds. Any questions? You get a prize. Smash it. Feet, hands, punch, jump, elbow. Smash it. Smash it. Hulk smash, all right? Is everybody ready? Are you ready to cheer them on? All right, go. Who thinks Miss Barrett won? Who thinks Jake won? Uh, you're a good teammate, but uh, okay. Now the big question is, I said a prize. The problem is the prize is inside of your box. So if you could open your box, anybody else wondering what's in the box? Jake, let's go Jake first. Jake, what's in your box? Anything? Nothing? Just paper? Paper? Oh, you got a bouncy ball. Miss Barrett. Oh, Miss Barrett, what's in your box? What does that say? Jake's Nintendo. Jake's Nintendo. It's okay. I'm sure it's not broken or... Oh, feel it. It's okay, right? Okay, maybe an opportunity for forgiveness. All right, y'all can go on down. Give him a hand. Everybody, give him a hand. Jake, go on down. Go, there you go. No. Go, go on down. All right, so... Yeah. So that's Jake's Nintendo, right? So, all right. So the point is, hey, look, it's fun and it's silly, but we all need forgiveness. And look, don't listen to what I say, right? I'm not an authority. Your parents, everybody else, we're not the authority. We are a authority and authority in your life, um, your teachers, etc. But go to the Bible. If you don't know what something says, or you have a question about something, just go to the Bible, right? It will never fail you. It will never lie to you. It will always be true. So what do they say? We all mess up. We all mess up. Romans 3, 23, we've all sinned and fall short of God's glory, right? And we didn't just break a video game. Miss Barrett, we'll send you a bill. Um, you didn't just break a video game. We broke God's heart, right? In Genesis, it talks about when he saw everyone was sinning, he was deeply grieved, right? We broke God's heart when we sinned against him. But in God's great love, Jesus, uh, God made a way for us to be forgiven so that we can forgive others, right? And he did that through Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. Through his blood, through his death and resurrection on the cross, we have an opportunity for forgiveness, right? It says that in Ephesians, says it in Matthew, says it lots of different places. So if we go back and we look at this again, bearing with one another, forgiving one another, if anyone has a grievance against you, anyone, just as the Lord forgave you. So he didn't ask you to do it first. He didn't. And by the way, let's back up. He's talking to people who believe in Jesus. So you have the ability to put on kindness, compassion, gentleness, respect. You have the ability to forgive others because you have forgive, been forgiven. So what's the point? Right, I always ask my boys when they're memorizing Bible verses, great, you know it. So what? Right? It's great to write God's word on your heart. But it is useful for teaching, reproof, correction, right? It, make it useful. Give it power. So what's the point? God asks us to forgive others. Jake, he doesn't ask you to forgive Isaiah or Billy Joe or whoever else. Anyone, everyone, everyone who has an issue with you. Everyone. Believers, everyone. Sinners, everyone. We have first been forgiven by God. And no one will do something to you that is worse than what we did to God in sin. No one. So you have always been forgiven more than what you are being asked to forgive. I have one more? There we go. So, um, so let's pause. Colossians is great. I love coming here. I love hearing y'all sing. If you're not like teary-eyed when you leave chapel in the morning, you don't have a heart, in my opinion. Um, but just pause. He's speaking to believers. So if you know and you believe and you trust that Jesus died for your sins and rose again so that you can be forgiven of those mess-ups, he's talking to you. 
And so you need to keep believing that every day. That's part of becoming more like him every single day. We need that forgiveness every day. It's not a one-time thing. If you don't know him, I'm telling you, everyone here would stop their day. I'm a big baby. Um, (laughs) But the truth is, no one will say that science or math or history or anything else is more important than this. No one. No one in this room. So if you don't know this, find a teacher, find your parent, find anyone and ask them about this. Nothing will give them more joy than to, than to tell you about what Jesus has done in their life, the forgiveness that they've received, the forgiveness that you can receive for that. All right? So please know him. That is the point, right? That's the point. Know him and follow him. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for this time. Thank you for these boys and girls, these men and women. Um, Thank you for the opportunity to uh, just come and just preach your truth. It's not my truth, Lord. I pray that um, I would get out of the way of this message, um, that as an imperfect person, you would remove me from your perfect message, Lord, and your perfect plan um, of redemption and forgiveness uh, for everyone. Lord, it's there for everyone if we would just take hold of it. God, I pray for these boys and girls that um, those who know you would continue to know and follow hard after you, and those who don't would seek you, Lord, because you promise you will be found. God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for chapel. Thank you for Brazos Christian and the school um, that just helps us to send out uh, points of light into your world, Lord, to do good. In your son's name we pray. Amen.